G'day, Jim Stackpool, founder of Certainty Advice Group. Quick little overview of what we do every month uh, with our community um, on, um, on cultivating advice, where we run what we call a DNA webinar each month for about 45 minutes. It's a combination of Q&A, but I would like to get into the details of this whole question about how you identify and present back the value and agree upon the value. Uh, so we talk in a lot of detail of either the discovery meeting or the debrief meeting, which I think is the most important meeting of the team after a discovery, and then getting ready for the engagement meeting when you go back and present your value proposition to each client. So these frameworks hopefully help you develop your artwork, um, and as we workshop and use real life case examples um, and a lot of questions and answers, it hopes to give that core element part to all your team members, whether they've been doing it for two minutes or 20 years, to better really identify, deliver great value to your clients. So check it out, can you get your feedback? Here we go, so what is what am I talking about? And so from a big picture, whoa, yep, I get feedback on this all the time. Gee, it looks complicated, and it is. You know, it isn't. You know, we can't, it, this, this is brain surgery to a certain extent. And we're trying to frame it down into bite-sized chunks to really come back to these first, how do we make a good start? And what I've got on the screen, for those that have seen it before, and those that haven't, you know, this is our framework, this is our flow. And we're trying to go from a flow, because I want to make this process consistent, I want to make it methodical, and I want to make it quite specific for the people in your team that are going down these paths, or yourself that go down these paths. But know that there's some sort of flow, the big picture. And so we've got an element of up front, which is the whole idea about identifying what these, what our clients value, and an element of debriefing around that, an element of preparation following the debrief. I mean, they get ready as a team to go and present back and price it. And so those four core elements, individual parts, and as I say, this whole new webinar series is all about getting into various elements of this big grid um, every month and get into the detail based upon the stuff that you're sharing with us, and I can then share it back with you in these sort of sessions. But today we're going to really focus on this first element. And in fact, today we're just looking at the first five minutes, um, which is really conversation, what I call conversation one and two, uh, before we even get into identify uh, the client value. And so, again, this is really crucial. And if you're totally new to this and you haven't seen any of this stuff before, all of this stuff that I'm going through at all the time, this is on your online curriculum. And, it, yep, that looks a messy slide. But if you go to cultivatingadvice.com forward slash members, put in, put in your user ID. And I'm really specifically, all this stuff I'm talking about is in your library one to pull out. If you don't know where to find it, send us an email. Or I'll answer that for you. So I'm really getting now back into this, the detail of what we're talking about on the four starting starting skills for how we actually do those conversations one and two, which is so crucial. So when either an existing client or a new client to get across this idea, I'm now going to deliver, identify what principal advice is all about. So the four issues are um, the establishing of context. The next one, let's make it safe, i.e. the conversation. Um, keeping control individually and collectively. And the last one I'll talk about is how we go about positioning your role, not you, your role that you're going to play. Whether I'm 22 and just out of uh, power painting school or when I'm 62, 72, I've been doing this for years. Positioning the role you're playing, not positioning you. 